What's up guys? Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool, back here again for Practical Machinists. I'm back here again at East Tech with my friend John. Nice to, meet, nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How's your East Tech going so far? Good so far, yes. Now, Enjoying it. You've been to a couple of these before. Uh, this is, I think, 22 for me. And you've uh, been with the Spree for? 29. 29 August years. of 92. I think my first East Tech was somewhere around 97, 98. Yes, so a long time. So this is not your first rodeo? Not my first rodeo, yes. And you've been with the Spree that entire time? Yes, I have. How did you get into that? Uh, I just wanted to get into engineering sales, so I had an opportunity with the vice president who came to Charlotte, North Carolina, where I'm based out of, and interviewed me and thought he'd take a chance, and 29 years later, here I am. Clearly, he made the right decision because he never moved. Exactly. <laughs> Means he's going to treat you pretty good. Uh, knock on wood, yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now, what are we looking at today with Esprit? Esprit is a cam system. We are a full service cam CAD. I say cam CAD because our focus is driving machine tools. Right. Okay, so we we program any any type of mills, lays, mill turn, Swiss, and wire EDM. It's a total package. Total package. One system, one learning curve, one maintenance contract, one interface. Now you were to telling do it me all. before when we were just starting to talk about it that the one thing you typically see is when you go into shops, you don't see them have three different systems. Yep. So you don't have a system just for programming mill, you don't have a system for programming wire. And the reason for that is, once you learn Esprit for one, you're pretty much covered across. That's our, I feel like that's our biggest advantage, the ability to go in and program all those applications at the highest level using the same software interface where we're not making a guy have to have a different system for a wire, for a Swiss, for a mill. That's correct. Oh, and it does do Swiss as well. Uh, correct. Yes, that's correct. The now, three biggest players in Swiss all are using a spree. Oh, the really? three biggest players in mill turn. That's the hot technology now is multitasking where I don't have to take the work off the mill and put it on the lathe. I can do it in all one setup. That is a mill turn. It's hard to argue with that, especially right now when we're dealing with such a such a lack of labor and you know experience in the trade, the more you can do in one machining center, one setup. That's correct, better. that's correct, yes. Now, out there right now, obviously you were a guy who's gone to a lot of shops and visited a lot of places. And a, and a lot of shows. And a lot of shows. Why are you seeing people switch to Esprit from other CAD CAM systems? What's really driving that change? I think it's multitasking, Swiss, mill turn, wire EDM. That's something that we've invested by putting full-time people inside the manufacturer, the guys that actually make the machines. Right. So the three biggest players, we've, we've had a relationship now of close to 15 years with those guys. We put a guy inside so that when they come out with a new machine, we built the machine kinematics. So when a guy buys our software, he gets the model of the machine, full collision protection on everything, tool, tool and holder, everything so that's part of our wow. what we call post processor so what i can literally do is if i have a machine i can import that machine into a spree and i can get to see simulations like this with real size to my machine in the in the system with, when i run it through a simulation so you can see like what's happening right there that happens standard with a spree that's standard any wow. any post that you buy from us it's mori and mazak excuse me dmg mori mazak akuma you have the ability to get the model of the machine right here we're getting ready to see a mazak integrex so you can take a customer's file or you can draw a part in your own cad system put it inside the kinematics of the machine turn off whatever you don't want to see, but now you have full collision protection on everything. Because it does, I tell people it doesn't cost you a nickel to smack it here, it's when you go make code to the machine. So it's really good to have good verification and machine simulation. Right, and that's something you guys have obviously put a lot of time yes, and effort yes. into. Now, when it comes to Esprit, what are you seeing guys have, or sorry, I shouldn't say it, I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't say what are you seeing guys have issues with. When it comes to Esprit, what kind of issues is Esprit solving for them The other camp systems can't really do quite as well? Is it the, is it the modeling? Is it that collision detection? What is, what is driving guys towards this to solve their problems? Well, the, the, the big one is it can run the whole, everything in their shop. Right. You know, one of our big customers is Medtronic up here in Connecticut, where they're doing milling, turning, mill turn, Swiss, and wire EDM with one software. So that's the event. Programming time. So being able, everybody's dealing now with solid models. Right. We're not dealing with DXF or DWG for the most part. Everybody's dealing, everybody can afford a good CAD package. So we don't want to have to take a CAD model and turn yeah. it back into wireframe. Uh. So the advantage is being able to bring in a solid Solid model from a particular CAD system, put it right into the machine, program it, and then have every, and then be able to see 
everything that I'm doing, and if I don't do it right, it's telling me, it's showing me exactly what I need to fix or clean up before I make code to go to the machine. Right, makes a lot of sense. Um, the one thing that I'm seeing a lot of systems doing right now that may be, hopefully, I believe you guys have it, Procordial milling, full flute engagement, does that come, you know, the high speed removal? Is that something you guys have in the system? Th that is true. With that, whether you're doing turning, mill turn, or milling, you have the ability to have tricoidal machining. That's and, how to pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I may have screwed, you know. Uh, I, I, I say it funny, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. So yes, a, a, that is a hot technology uh, that a lot of people are trying to get into, and it's basically integrated throughout our product. Right, so it's right from, that'll be on your mill turn, that will be on your right. milling, your three axis, your four axis. The one thing that I in my shop am having issues with, and I believe I'm actually looking at this right now, is that's with because my... you don't have a spree. You need a spree, if you, and then you wouldn't have issues. I believe that's also correct, and that's where I was going. Is that I've been having problems with trying to get continuous milling on my fourth axis with my current unnamed mill package. I see almost that happening right now. I believe this is actually a mill turn machine. Yeah, that's full five axis. Oh, that's, that's a, full that's a mill axis. turn, but it's full five. It's a full five axis cut. Right. So the other thing in a spree, whether I'm doing mill turn or milling, right. if I am a programmer and I'm programming both types of machines, I'm not having to learn two different technologies. Everything that's in our entire mill product is integrated into the mill turn. So right. if I'm doing mill pocketing or mill turn pocketing, it's the same technology. It's, if, it's if I'm doing five axis there. roughing or five axis mill turn roughing, it's the same technology. That's, it's, I mean, that's what makes it so powerful is that you can spend less time do it all in one spot and you're good to go. That's... Is there anything coming up in the next couple of years for Esprit? Anything exciting coming out? I don't know if you guys have any new features that you've just released or if you have potentially coming up. Uh, because I'm in sales, they don't tell me what is new because they don't want me selling it until it comes out. So right. I'll just leave it at that. We yep. always, oh, we put about 20% of our revenue back into the product. Every so year, again, wow. Yes, yeah, so I, again, I've been here 29 years. So we come out with about four or five updates a year, one major release every year. So we, we feel like we do put a lot of uh, the, the customer gets a lot for his money when he when he is on a maintenance contract. Four to five updates a year. That's yeah, uh, that's yeah. amazing, and that's you know regarding new machines that come out. You have the new models of them in there. Just like tricoidal pocketing, that that was a new technology. Instead of waiting for that major release, typically in April, he got that whenever it was ready to go. Got it right out. Get people making chips. Exactly. Get things happening. Exactly. Well, thank you very much for spending some time with us today. Where can we find you online? Esprit.com. Espreecam.com. Espreecam.com. Yes, that's correct. Well, thank you very much for spending some time. Thank you, guys. John. Appreciate your time. You have a great day. Please come see us. John, and what, what booth are we at? What booth? Where can we find you? We are in booth 5259 here in Building 5000 at East Tech. Building 5, yeah. Make sure you come see us. I'm the tallest, ugliest guy in the booth. Come see me. <laughs> okay.